Hi guys. I just like to talk about the news in my life. I painted my nails and that's all I think so. I just started to... Ah, oh, by the way, if I just have to say that I'm more focused in my YouTube videos, uh, uh, in my, you know, how to say that, career stuff? More technical stuff, I would say, yes. And today uh, I would like to do talk to you or just show you what I'm doing. I would like to learn the basic of Arduino. Do you remember that I built this moment? A row, just a car with Arduino now and on. Uh, it's, work, it's working. But the problem is, uh, you know, when I don't have a specific goal, I'm not gonna do that. That's why uh, I kinda get a goal, I'm not sure, but before that I just, I think it to buy a uh, um, 3D laser, yes, to build, uh, to make, a, you know, just a frame for my projects, like for example, like this one, but it will be more plastic, I don't know, it's kind of plastic, I don't know what kind of material it is, but yeah, but uh, before to go there, I need to learn some basic that I don't know, for example, there are a lot of things, just, I'm just thing that's really, really important, like ultrasonic sensor, what it is, how much I can need to program it, well, what else? I don't know what it is. Uh, just a moment. It is poten potential matter. Potential matter. Okay. Just to like, I would say, kind of first project. We just, uh, you know, just build a. Did you, did you build anything? This was you, how we see. Just uh, it's just a LED, and we connected with the uh, Arduino Uno air drive. It's his na its name, so if you didn't cut anything, it just uh, how exactly it works, the introduction, how exactly uh, why we need a resistor and the jumpers over there, LED, uh, and how to connect them, and yeah, that's all. So I'm gonna show you. So. Woo! <laughs> the next mini project was uh, to build a RGB LED. It's a uh, red, uh, green, blue in one LED. That's cool, honestly saying. I'm gonna show you. We just program coded, honestly saying. I didn't even code, but it's it's not so um, difficult to code by myself. That's why I just let it just. Uh, put it a uh, code in the Arduino and we got here the result. You can see that we can see all of colors. It's changing. Right now it's uh, green, violet. I don't know if you're seeing that one. Yeah, you have to check. Next mini project was about. Uh, buttons but you can, you can call them push switches when you push the uh, first button over there I'm gonna show you just a moment then I push another one yeah so the code wasn't so hard on as I saying but I, I had some problems with uh, when, when when you know the the two so the two functions, first of all, uh, void setup, when you just uh, first uh, initialization, first settings to the project, project you have to just call it, uh, when I just needed to call uh, digital write to push water's first one, you need to in the second parameter, give it that it's input. Uh, this project called digital input. These buttons are digital input. And you have to call them, do you have to write input underscore pull up? I support that. Do, do I really need to write pull up underscore pull up? That's why I just delete it and upload to, to the Arduino Uno, but it didn't work out. That's why I just write it down there. 
And after that, it's working, how we've seen. In the next mini project, we build a buzzer. Just build, we write it, just always say build, build. We didn't build, we just used it for our project, that's all. And uh, buzzer, it's like kind of uh, makes a sound. It will use it in a lot of things like computers and so on. And if we connect it one, do uh, just a moment. Uh, there is two frequencies, one of them less, another a little bit, a little bit higher. So, but there are two types of buzzers. One of the actives, and another one is uh, active. And what was the active? Passive. Yes, yeah, passive. <laughs> Just forget about that. And uh, what's the difference? Uh, the difference on the on the back side. So there is a black tab on the active one and it's now as open green on the passive one and uh, in the active one there is uh, more details more circuits that help to sound better not sound better I just don't remember what was uh, different I'm gonna save it just a moment So, but it doesn't have such source, so it will not fit. The difference between two is that active buzz has a build on oscillating source, it will generate a sound when electrified. A passive buzz doesn't have such sound, it will not fit it if DC signals are used. Instead, you need to use square waves whose frequencies between 2k and 5k to drive it. The active buzz is often more expensive than the passive one because the multiple built in oscillating circuits. Yeah. That was the difference. Okay, the next one is about the passive one. I just told the difference and uh, let's just show you how it sounds. You can with the buzzers make a sound, for example, like that one. But you have to take a note that uh, on Arduino Uno there is digital right in pins. Yeah, it's like with a kind of slash, I don't know how to call them. But you don't have to use that in passive one because in part in the, uh, the passive puzzle because the, the limit of uh, frequency it's up to 500. We can use, if you like to use more frequent then you use uh, without this slash pins. So right, the next mini project is about the tilt ball sensor, tilt switch ball. It got a lot of names but I'm gonna call it tilt sensor. That's fine to me. And how exactly it works. Only thing I just got some troubles to understand how exactly it works but the point is when it declines do you, do, you, do, you, do you hit that? A little bit of voice over there. Yeah, there is a kind of ball inside of this sensor. So, when we incline the sensor, it will turn off the LED. Turn on, turn off. Yeah. That's all. Okay, the so next mini project was uh, the micro servo. Yeah, I don't know. The I use it my first one, but it just heated a little bit and doesn't work. I don't know why. Strange. But now the one is working. Very good. Thank you that I got two of them. Thank you, Daddy. He just bought me the second one. Yeah. The next mini project was about uh, ultrasonic sensor and the idea that come from is easy to build because I just built it alone without any project. I think the sorry just I got so strong right now. <coughs> it's a little bit hurting. So I 
it got uh, four lids. Uh, we have to put a wire with the five volt, two pins and ground negative one. And how exactly it works? Yeah, it uh, sends a signal somewhere in the in the air, I would say, and after somebody, uh, it's uh, something. Let, let's say this this object will be seen and will be uh, sent the uh, echo back and that uh, ultrasonic get the echo and he will after that there is a formula so the formula will calculate the distance between this object and ultrasonic it said that I can use it uh, for avoiding obstacles projects example so as an ultrasonic sensor, sorry, as an ultrasonic sensor, there is a, a membrane switch model. I'm gonna show you there over there, maybe you see. I hope you see, but I'm gonna show you. I just forgot to say by, ultra, by the ultrasonic sensor, there is a serial monitor. We can there see the distance the, between the monitor, between the sensor and the the object that will be calculated so and there is the same thing uh, in uh, uh, with the uh, membrane switch module we have, when we just press any case for example two it will be shown in the cell monitor I'm gonna show you just a moment where is it? our it's our Arduino program it's also a monitor. I hope you see over there. Yeah, but it, it could be better. But you see the two, the last one over there. There, two. We will press, for example, nine, six, five, one, one, two, two, three. A, 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 A. Okay, so the mini project was about the humidity and temperature sensor. It will calculate all the temperature and humidity of the room. And I got in trouble with the code it's written in the script and I need to change it because it was a little complicated to understand. I, I found a new one in the internet and it was not so complicated it's it, it was used in another library that and it's more understandable yeah the next mini project was its uh, joystick model you know that from the playstation sort generation and yeah it got for for five leads you need to connect to the uh, ground uh, it's a negative positive five voltage and the direction x y i don't remember what kind of direction it was x direction it was y direction so and uh, the button when it's pressed that's all the code is not so difficult to understand but it took a little bit of time of my and yeah Woo. Before to talk about the, this matrix, I would like to say that I just missed the the I receiver module because I used that in my car. That's why there is no need to talk about that one. I know how much I can do. It's quite a little bit perplexing, but I just figured I just figured out how much I to do. It. There's no problem. Yeah. Okay. I now I just like to show you the Max Seven Two. One nine. You will see exactly. Just here we go. Just a moment. What's he doing? You see Arduino. Oh, it's written Arduino. In some function, it will be prominent right now. Yeah. Likely, there is no need to lock sixteen leads 
to obtain the owner, only five. Let's go. Look at all the matching. Thank you. About the next chip, that's GY521. And I disconnected. It was easy to connect. I didn't use the whole potential of the model. But it's really hard to understand. I didn't get all of things, but I got the idea of that to get an object in C dimensional when I just you know just I'm getting in the just in X Y and Z. Oops, it was in German. Sorry for that. That I said it before. <coughs> so that's cool. I'm just saying. But it's a lot of physics over there, a lot of just information. But to conduct it, it was not so hard. The next mini project it is about PIR sensor. It just sensor that I react to the distance too. For example, when I just uh, put my hand over to the ball, I don't know five centimeter. It will be detected and the LED over there will see. We'll see. Uh, it's a little bit. You see, three seconds, about three seconds, it will be high and it will be turned off immediately. Depends how exactly the, the object is close to the have it, it was seen or not over the sensor. It's a little bit complicated, honestly saying. And there are a lot of adjustments. Not a lot. Honestly, compared to another, yes. There are a bunch of adjustments that in specific uh, situation I need can use. I need to practice it to understand how exactly I can use. You know, just for example, it was given an example that a couple is dancing and you and you can just when the couple is coming to the tensor, it will be able to turn off the the light for say so three seconds, three seconds. But there is two situation. It will be the next mini project. It's water level detection, and it help us to measure the depth of the water. How far we just saw. So the mini. As the next mini project, it's about the FTS model. It's real time clock model, and it really gives the real time time uh, in the serial monitor. I'm gonna show you. So you see the serial time for today's video. Parts video, I would say. I would say the last project I have done. I could do another one, but it's a little delayed. I'm going to stand up tomorrow earlier so the last project was about sensor sound it's like a microphone I would like to show you how exactly it works maybe you don't see I need to it's right now uh, on the lowest I would frequency I would say the microphone that don't get and uh, if I just try to speak louder to the microphone this lad will right now it takes uh have you seen no i'm gonna show it just a moment Ooh. have you seen yeah okay I got uh, about 13 project more that I need to do and uh, so Hi guys, I know that I'm just recording right now also already on 6th May uh, it's already Sunday I, think I would like to end this my this video to end my, my, my learning the basics of Arduino on, on the Saturday but I need to go to work I got uh, you know just um, unexpected call from my boss that I need to change my colleague. That's fine. I hope tomorrow I'm not gonna work, but I said I'm gonna work. We will see because I would like to end my project and I have something to do. So, uh, what about the 
um, Tenny Vaughn's mini project. It's called RFID model, which stands Radio Frequent Identification, 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 sorry. And here we are. It will be just send the data contactless. Uh, for example, let's say it's your credit card, and here have exactly 12. You just put over there, it sends the information. That information, for example, is already done. We can see in our serial monitor, and you will see the uh, date. But understanding the, the code of this project is a bit complicated. There are two libraries that we need to just look over there, how exactly is it done. I didn't get honestly saying how it's exactly moving, but the idea I got it. If I have needs uh, for details, I'm gonna go and go and understand them. Try to understand them. 22 this project was uh, liquid crystal display, LCD display, and for, and I got some problem with the uh, wiring uh, and especially with the uh, resistor 10k because I needed to to this part to connect with this but I didn't do that that's why I didn't show but by the way I would like to show you you will see many say hello many just a moment it wasn't that way but it was working but I didn't I didn't know how exactly to to adjust it that was why that's cool in 23rd project, we built a thermometer with the help of the LCD model from the large project and uh, with thermistor. Thermistor it's a resistor that changes its uh, resistance with the, because of the temperature. I want to say all resistors change their resistance because of the temperature, but thermistor changes its resistance drastically because it's made for it. So. And right now, I'm gonna show you the thermometer we built. Oh my god! Here. Yeah. It's right now show 25. 24th project, it's about uh, 74 HSP. No, 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 no. 74 HS 595N chip that allows us to connect immediately eight LEDs for example or just buttons whatever we would like to connect together without using the uh, pins of the Arduino Uno. I'm gonna show you what I mean. It's working over there, over the pins for example there is no left leads we like to use for another one that's why we have to use this one to to leave pins untouched. I just forgot to correct to connect correctly and that's the result of the project twenty four I think. That's so beautiful. And this is one of the chips that I showed before. It will help us to connect eight to LED. This problem was with the wires. 25's project and uh, it was about serial monitor that we can control what he have done in the project 24, 24's project and we can control it what he have done. Let's I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put over there. Just a moment. Let's turn on the first one. Oh, oh. What do you see over there? Let's six one. Cool. Let's leave it when we enter X. It will clear every. Let's. Oh. Ooh. 26 project was about the LDR light dependent resistor. 
I'm going to show you this in a moment, but what is it? It is uh, a change its re resistance when the light is falling down or just coming to the resistor. Let's show it. For example, you know the last project done, it doesn't work. I mean, it turned off, it turned off, turned off, turned off. The 27th project I built with the uh, chip. 74HC595 and segment display. It's uh, I'm gonna show later. Just I, I just I had some trouble with the the chip because one of the machine didn't work. I don't know why. I just switched it after that. It's working. The the so we have to do the this display will show from nine to zero. Counting down every six seconds, I think. They thought it wasn't so complicated. That's cool, yeah? The project 28 for uh, digital segment display with the chip 74HS595 and you have to be patient to do everything because most of the time you're gonna fail. And in, th in this case, the wiring process was really exhausting. But the code was understandable at the end. We got something really cool stuff. I'm gonna show it. Yeah, that's cool. The nice project was about the DC motor, uh, but the problem is we cannot directly connect DC motor with Arduino Uno because it can be, it can damage our Arduino Uno. That's why we have to use the power supply. I'm gonna show that. Maybe I cannot show that. I will show you just a moment. Here, that's the power supply we need to use. It's connected over there. Yeah, and we got another chip that able us uh, to connect two motors at the same time. It's the name I don't remember. L two nine C D. Yeah. And how the it works? For example, it's like a helicopter. Or you can say whatever you like. Woohoo! Do you see that? Wow, that's nice. The code wasn't so hard to understand. If I go in details, so I for sure I understand that one. There is one no extra library, I think so. I don't remember. But uh, it's just yeah, I take took a great break because first time it didn't work out. So it's right now raining. I need to close my window. But. That's all for the 29th project. It's always working right now, this moment. Okay, I just turned it off. Uh, start this project, it's about relay. Relays, you know, just uh, it uh, controls the circuits, and uh, when it's just working, it will just uh, have to say lead the. How to say its name? The, the energy to the, to the motor. Maybe listening or not, I'm gonna show you. We're waiting for you. Let's do it. Hey. Yeah. Such a bonus project was about the step marcher. And to able to use it, we need uh, a UL 2003 driver that uh, enables the, 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 the simple way to use that one. It's already working. Maybe we are. Maybe you don't see, it, but it's just rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise. I don't know. You're listening. That's cool. 
the module converts electrical impulse to mechanical movements. Yeah. I'm not saying when I'm reading the script, I don't understand sometimes, really, just a lot of water. I'm so bad at electricity, you know, the basic knowledge I don't have. Maybe I know just ampere or from, but what exactly it means? <laughs> so, so it's the second project, and uh, I don't know, maybe just, it's just it doesn't matter. And it was about uh, DC no, 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 step, step marcher with infrared uh, remote control. And it's working, but I just uh, broke one of the infrared uh, model of my of mine, yeah. But it doesn't matter, I'm gonna show you how the actually works. Maybe you don't see that one. Woo! It removes. That's cool. Honestly, it's the very last project. I'm so excited that I um, did it today. The last project starts is Okay, the last project starts is third project uh, and with the rotatory encoder that uh, mechanical rotations, for example, on the right side, on the left side, it will convert it to digital information and the information as DC, not DC, I'm sorry, just tap motor will take it, which, for example, turn on the right side and the DC motor, no, step motor will turn the right side, on the, on the left side, on the, on the left side, side now not so working. It is, you know, broke one of the leads of the, this encoder, that's problem. But by the way, I'm so happy that I ended this kind of tutorial for me, and after that I'm just planning a project. A project will be so cool, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe cool, maybe not. But for that I need to buy a CD laser, or, or printer, I don't know. I have to look after the project, after that I will just decide what I need mostly. Have a good day, bye.